Hey everyone, so before we get into the nitty gritty details of this video, I just want to clarify this real quick. This video will show you how to take a disc, make a copy of it successfully so you can play on a modified system or make a copy of a disc so that you can have the image on your computer and use it in an emulator or preserve it or anything like that. But this video will not show you how to play copied games on your systems. Reason being is that this is a general overall guide and there are different modifications and methods of playing CDR based games on different types of consoles. So I can't show you all of them right here. So this is going to be assuming that you just want to back up, preserve your collection, run it on an emulator, or you already know how to play a copied game. If you don't, you can look it up online, but this will just show you how to back up and copy your collection. Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and I'm going to bring you all this quick tutorial right here. Now, it seems like it's a pretty simple tutorial compared to what I normally use, and it is. It really is. But I'm going to be showing you all right here how you can make a copy, so back up and make copies of your old CD-based games. So this might be games for, you know, PC, Sega Saturn, Sega CD, PlayStation 1, uh, the blue-backed PlayStation 2 games, uh, and then I think there's even like a Jaguar CD and some other ones out there. So this is a multitude of different systems now I'm not going to be covering DVD backups because it depends like for example uh, PS2 DVD backups really easy to make Xbox backups you're gonna need a modded system so that's why I'm covering CDs because to my knowledge CD backups are going to be the same anyway and the other system I'm not covering here explicitly is Dreamcast reason being is that Dreamcast games are not CDs they are GD-ROMs, so you need to use uh, your Dreamcast itself, or you need to have a hacked-up special drive that is quite an old drive to make a direct backup of a disc you have. But aside from that, you know, like PlayStation, blue-backed PS2 games, uh, the Sega C like CD-based consoles and all that, except for the Dreamcast, this will cover those and, you know, other systems that are out there, because there's so many other consoles out there. But anyways, I'm going to be showing you all this on Windows. So, if you're a Mac user, I can't really help you here, but... I've been told Disk Utility works out pretty well, and I looked at it, it's a free program, it's built in, it seems to be fine, uh, but this is going to cover Windows and Image Burn right here. So first off, you want to go down below to the link in the description, and there will be a link to Image Burn's website. What you want to do is you want to go ahead, go to download, and you want to download from any of these sources right here. So for example, you know, Digital Digest, and you just want to go ahead and get the file from here, and download this exe. Now, once you have this downloaded, all you need to do is install it, and then what you can do is minimize this and open up Image Burn right here. Now, what you need to do is when you come to this splash screen, if you've never used it before, it's super simple to use. All you need to do is go to Create Image File from Disk, and then select the drive that you have, whatever it is. So, for example, I'm backing up my Sega CD copy of Echo the Dolphin, and you just want to select the drive, of course, put the game in there, and you want to select where you want to save this to. Now to select that, all you need to do is just press this little folder right here, click that, and then you want to go ahead and I would recommend making a folder specifically for your game, and then when it says save as type, I would recommend doing .bin. So you're going to have a bin file and a Q file. That is my recommended format for ISOs right here, and then you can rename this to whatever you want to. So I'm going to call this Echo Sega CD hit save, and then you can also select your read speed if you want to. Now, if you have a disc that's kind of scratched up, it would probably be best to read it at a slower speed, so you can just pick, you know, like 1x if you want to, and as you can see, the slowest speed here is 4x, so that means even if I select 1x, the slowest speed it will read at is 4x, but honestly, most of the time, I've never had an issue reading at max speed, so you can just go ahead, select max to both of these, once you have all that dialed in, hit this button right here, and it will make a copy of your disk. Alright, so as you can see right here, we just finished copying our game. It only took three minutes for this. You want to go ahead, hit OK, and then at this point, you can just take out your disk and you can put in a blank disk. Alright, now before we go ahead and get into burning our actual image file, I want to show you all what disks I use. So, when it comes to CDs, you can get them ridiculously cheap now. I mean, it's 2015, 2016, you know, close enough to that. You can get them super cheap, but I get these right here. They're by JVC, otherwise known as Teo Yudin, and they are just uh, 52x CDRs. It's a spindle of 100 of them, and honestly, this is the 
best value that you can get for you know what you're spending on now some people might say oh I can get a pack of 100 for like 10 or 15 dollars and they might be HP or some other type of cheaper disc anything like that you got to be careful with that even with verbatims like verbatim for example they're known to be really good when it comes to storage and all that but their CDs are just really really cheaply made I mean you could look all this stuff up just look up the disc IDs and that will verify everything uh, the reason why I recommend these right here is because one I mean they're not that much they're about 30 31 dollars they're more expensive than other spindles but they're still not a whole lot and second most of these systems you got to be careful with the laser mechanisms the uh, actual optical drives anything like that so you don't really want to burn out your systems components with some cheap CDs so if you're gonna do it right just spend a little bit more uh, seriously I got like a pack of verbatims recently um, I think I paid like $20 for them they weren't cutting it I returned them I got these so I it was either 20 or 25 but either way I paid just a little bit more and you get a exponential jump in quality so these are definitely worth it and I will link this down below in the description as well now what you want to do if you're just going straight away into burning you can go ahead come up here to mode go to right and then you can here select the image file now if you have exited out of the program and you go back into it at that splash screen there's also an option where you could say you can write an image file to a CD so you could do that as well too so what you want to do right here is go ahead, hit this folder icon and select the Q sheet. Now you need to have the Q file and the bin file for this game or any game in the same folder at the same time. Don't separate them, don't delete them, anything like that. Now if you pick the Q sheet, that will work. If you pick the bin file on accident, you'll just get this error telling you it will fix it automatically. You made a mistake, but pick the Q sheet next time, but make sure you select it. Then once you have everything dialed in, we're going to select our write speed. Now, unlike reading, where it doesn't matter when we're actually backing up the game, copying the game is different. We want to copy that at the slowest speed possible. Now, ideally, if you could burn at like 4x, uh, that's normally the fastest that's recommended, you know, if, if you have a slow burner. But because burners are really cheap and really fast now, uh, as you can see, the slowest write speed here is 8x. So even what you can do, image burn will increment that. So for example, I always have mine set to 2.4x, but when I hit burn right here, it's going to automatically increment it up to 8x, which is fine. That's the slowest speed that my burner can burn at. But just trust me, burn at the slowest speed possible. So once you have your file lined up right there, you have your speed dialed in, you can go ahead and hit this button, and you can just wait for your disc to copy. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. Hope this helped you all preserve your game collection.